Hey folks, Steve Lewis here, Relevance for Today. Thank you for joining me once again as we continue to wrap up the love movement. This 10-part series I've been working on now, it's been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have not listened to the other episodes, I hope you will do that. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic for you. I know I've learned a lot. I've heard some great feedback from some folks. I just want to tell you right now, this part 10 is going to be a powerful message. Hope you'll stay tuned. You're going to love it. Get ready. Okay, so folks, here we are once again. We're doing the Love Movement series. Holy Spirit laid it on my heart to talk about love because love is key to walking this walk of faith. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you need to love one another, you need to love your neighbor, and you need to love yourself, and also love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. So amazing things, I've covered a lot of material, I wanna jump right in today because I wanna go do a recap on the first message where I told you folks to concentrate on two key sets of scripture and I'm gonna pull out my Bible right now and we're gonna go ahead and dig in you folks ready let's do it so if you will remember the first thing I told you folks to meditate on was some verses um, we're looking at John 3 16 and 17 I'm gonna be reading out of the New Living Translation great Bible to read out of uh, very straightforward if you get someone to know the Lord or you get somebody saved. I'm jumbling over my words, but that's all right. Um, the bottom line is if you lead somebody to Christ and you want to give them a Bible that they're going to be able to understand straight off the get-go, New Living Translation is a great one. This one, once again, is a new spirit-filled life Bible, New Living Translation, also known for short as the NLT. So we're going to dig right in. We're looking at John 3, 16 and 17. Many people know, of course, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. And, you know, and they'll just repeat that, but they never really dive into the chapter or verse 17. So I want to make sure I brought that up too. So here we go. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. The part we forget is verse 17. God sent his son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Powerful portion of scripture. Too many times we just take the first portion, we don't look at the judgment part of verse 17 and the next thing you know we've got picket signs we're condemning everybody in the world and people are looking at us and saying if that's love i don't want any part of it so you have a lot of people who will look at certain christians or people who think they're followers of jesus christ and they will say you know if that's about if that's the love of christ i don't want anything to do with it because all they're doing is passing judgment and condemnation and i don't want any part of that so the purpose of John 3, 16 and 17 for you in the love movement message was to focus on it, meditate it on the mornings before you go out to work, before you go and interact with anyone. You get those verses in your spirit, man, so that you'll walk knowing that you're loved and you need to do the same for others. And the powerful, powerful passage of scripture um, that Paul wrote in a letter to Corinthians 1 Corinthians to the uh, church in Corinth, we're going to be looking at 1 Corinthians 13, 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 13, of course, verses 4 through 7, which of course is the powerful love section that I refer a lot of people to because love conquers all. It just takes care of everything. It's the icing on the cake with a cherry on top. So 1 Corinthians Chapter 13, verses 4 through 7 reads, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. 
It is not irritable and keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. That's the other passage of scripture that I also wanted you folks to meditate on before you go out each day. You remember these passages because we're all going to deal with situations where we're going to be tempted, we're going to be tried, and we're just going to get to the point where we're going to want to snap, and then we're going to go, oh, wait a minute. Love is patient. Love is kind. I'm not going to irritate people because love is supposed to be it's not supposed to be irritable. So you remember all these things in your mind. You play these things in your mind as you're catching a deep breath and counting the 10, whether you're their supervisor and you've got someone who's being irritable at the workplace. I'm sure we've all dealt with a situation like that. You just think that in your mind, Lord, help me, help me please to come across in a better way. Focus on that, okay? This is what the love movement's all about. The love movement is about showing the love of Jesus Christ to each and every individual that you come across so they will in turn say, what is that that they have? What does she have? What does he have? I want some of that. So with that being said, remember those two, meditate on those two. Now we're going to turn to the actual scripture that I want to close the love movement with. Okay, so in order to do that, I went through, did some studying, and I found in Colossians was perfect. What Paul wrote to the churches, and it was, it's, it's brilliant. Okay, so here it is. Holy Spirit inspired, of course. But we're going to go to Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Okay, and I'm putting it right up here for you guys. So here we go. Powerful passage. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves. Once again, the love word in there. He chose you. He chose me to be the holy people that he loves. You must clothe yourselves with tenderhearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now it doesn't say... God chose you to be the holy people he loves. You must. He didn't say you can if you want to or if you feel like it, you can do this. He, it says you must clothe yourselves with tenderhearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive. Forgive. And in my Bible right here, it's even in bold type forgive anyone who offends you that's anyone but but steve you don't understand they did this to me everyone forgive everyone okay okay so let me go on here okay so like once again he says make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you remember this is you, this is me. Remember, the Lord forgave you and me. I'm sorry, I'm losing my page. The Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. And above all, clothe yourselves with love. Back to the love movement, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And as I'd mentioned in one of the, the, uh, the, I'm sorry, as I'd mentioned before, in one of the messages of this series, I had mentioned with love comes unity. That unity comes from the harmony, the perfect harmony of everything flowing and working together nice and smoothly. Just like I was goofing off saying about the Barney song, I love you, you love me. You know, the bottom line is you love one another, truly love one another. And you follow all these statements in here about gentleness, patience, kindness, humility. You put all that in together, you're going to get along so great, it's going to form the unity bond. Okay? And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, 
you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. That is a mouthful. Chapter or verses 12 through 15, just that alone, you could read that every day along with John 3, 16 and 17, along with 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. And there should be no excuse why we can't get out here and get along and the body of Christ be united in one. So I'm going to continue on. Let the message about Christ in all its richness, richness fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And the last verse ends this way. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. Amen. Powerful. I, I, I love it. I mean, just like I said, I want to encourage you all. Take those. It would take you less than five minutes to read those passages I've just shared with you. If you could do that each morning, and I'm going to do the same. I'm challenging you to do the same. Read those each morning. Then afterwards you pray, Heavenly Father, help me through the Holy Spirit to walk in love each day according to your word, according to the words of Jesus, according to the word of the apostles that were inspired by the Holy Spirit that wrote these words down in God's word. Help me to walk in love so that I can impact the lives of those around me so that unity will form. Unity is key. It's not going to be easy. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but through Christ, all things are possible. Isn't that right? I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Remember that. Walk in love, unity, the bond. We've got to put ourselves in check. There's many of you listening to the sound of my voice. There's many of you watching this video. You know, deep down in your heart, that there's people that you just don't care for and you're sitting beside them in church buildings. You're sitting inside of them. Everybody's nodding their head yes and amen and you don't even get along with somebody that you may be walking past every morning in church, Sundays, whichever days you're there. In real life, I'm just saying the body of Christ at the moment, we're supposed to lead by example. How can we lead by example if we can't even love one another? We've got to nip this thing, folks. This whole project, this whole message about the love movement, the 10-part series, it could go on for even more. But of course, we only have so much time on this earth. We only have but so much time to go through these different things. The ball's in your court to look up more verses on love and to pray and to ask for guidance through the Holy Spirit to help you love your brothers and sisters in Christ as well as those out that aren't and are of this world. There's so many things going on in the world right now. The world needs more love. You show the love of Jesus Christ, it'll rub off on people. They will feel that love and they'll want to go for them, from them for that. And that's what we need to do. Remember when I talked about being a pleasing aroma? What are you smelling like? You know what I mean? All those different things I talked about in these different messages, we have to learn to love one another. If you are a true disciple of Jesus Christ, you don't have a choice. You better be loving your neighbor. You better be loving one another because if you're not, you're not showing the world that you're one of his disciples. It's God's word. It's in here. This isn't just Steve Lewis saying this. It's in God's word. It's a commandment for us to love one another. It's plain and simple. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but that's the bottom line. Right, Hope? Hope Churchill out there listening. You know, I want to thank you, Hope Churchill. Shout out to Hope. She lives here in my town. Um, she's around the same age as my son one of his classmates, she told me in IGA in the grocery store the other day, she said, Steve, I listened to your podcast and I just want to say you're doing a good job and keep up the good work. Hope you blessed me. So I just wanted to shout that out to you and many of you out there.
You know, I thank God for my wife who's encouraged me so much through doing these podcasts and supporting me the way she has financially to help me reach all of you out there. Thank you, Barb Lewis. You're the bomb.com. So I thank you for that. Thank you for listening, folks. There's just so much going on. I know in this last part, doing this 10 part series, when I started this series out in early February, I had no idea that four weeks later, my mother was going to be passing away. So within this whole love movement series, I lost my mother. Uh, my daughter and grandson have been living with us for a year. They just moved out the other day and moved to South Carolina. And that was a blessing to have them. But there was so many different things that happened in these last few weeks in these last couple months that I'm teaching on the love movement, I'm having to go back and read about love and fellowship and patience and kindness and all these wonderful things because different things have been going on in our lives as well. But I just thank God for the grace that he's given me. I thank God for the love that he's shown me so that I'm able to take that same love and get out here and show you. So with that being said, I don't want to ramble on. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series. I'm going to go ahead and pray now. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for the opportunity to share about your word. Lord, to share about love, which is one of the greatest commandments, to love the Lord your God, to love you, and then to also love our neighbor. Lord, I ask that you just encourage each individual that's listening to the sound of my voice, that's watching this video, Let's watch this whole series, Lord. Encourage us all. Give us all the strength, the wisdom. Give us the peace, the patience, the kindness, all that good stuff that we need. We know we have it within us through the Holy Spirit, but we know we need to rely on the Holy Spirit to help us to share that love, to show that patience, to show that kindness with one another. Heavenly Father, strengthen each and every individual that's listening to the sound of my voice. Lord, there's so many people out there hurting. Heavenly Father, bless them right where they're at. Send them the people who are going to show them the love that you've shown us so that they too can be encouraged, can be strengthened. For those that are out there already showing the love, Heavenly Father, I ask you to continue to bless them and encourage them that they won't give up on the love that they're showing as well. And I just thank you for all these blessings, Lord. Bless each and every individual out there listening to the sound of my voice and watching this video. We thank you, thank we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for you, God, sending your son Jesus down to die on the cross for us and being raised from the dead so that we can show love and we can be reunited with you. We thank you for these things in Jesus' mighty, precious name. Amen. Man, There it is, folks, the 10-part series on love, the love movement. Share it with your friends. Remember, you can go to YouTube and watch these videos. You can watch these videos um, through my author's page, Stephen Lewis, on Facebook. Uh, if you have a podcast app on your phone, look up Relevance for Today with Stephen Lewis, and you'll find me. You can find me on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I'm out there, folks. Google Google Play, you name it. I'm on Instagram. I'm on, um, where else am I on? Twitter. Connect with me. Folks, I'm encouraging you to leave a comment. Send, write me a message. Let me know how things are going on in your life. Let me know how this whole series touched you. What did it do for you? Let's get a communication line open up. I want to just continue to serve and to do podcasts that are going to reach out and writings that are going to reach people right where they're at in the comfort of their own home. Remember, relevance for today, it's all about reaching people right where they're at. Everybody has a phone or a tablet. You guys know you've got it right in the palm of your hand. You can listen to podcasts in your vehicle. You can watch them. Or some folks have told me they sit back while they're working around the house or cooking in the kitchen and they can listen to the podcast. It's all about taking social media, turning it around for the Lord, positive, positive things coming out of it to reach people all around the world. That's what I'm all about. I appreciate all of you for staying tuned. God bless you all. Stay tuned for the next message, whatever it's going to be. The Holy Spirit's going to lay it on my heart, but it's going to be awesome. That's all I know. Thanks for your time. God bless you all. 
Take care of yourselves. Love movement, people. Peace.